<laughs> Y'all, what did I get myself into? Stay. Hello, folks. Welcome back. For those of you that haven't met me yet, hi, my name is Stephanie Canada. Yes, that is my real name. On this channel, I enjoy such things as unboxings. Shocking, I know. Sewing, vintage, and thrifting goodness. If that sounds like a great time to you, go ahead and click that subscribe button now. So how this happened was during the hard lockdown section of the 2020, that is sort of like a time warp, time zone situation. I don't really know what to call it. My dear friend from college contacted me and said that she had gone through her house and had boxes of things that she no longer needed and asked me if I would want them. To which I responded, yes. Now at the time, I don't really think I understood what was happening because she said she had a lot and that they were vintage. Acknowledging that the term of vintage used in this case is more like 80s and 90s, so thrown in there along with some like reproduction stuff, which fine by me. I take any and all sewing patterns because well, don't let them go to Goodwill because then they get thrown away. Sometimes. No, seriously, some thrift stores, if they get sewing patterns, they just chuck them because they don't even bother. Don't ask me why. So she said that she was going to have her husband help her out and mail them to me. <laughs> um, so when they got to the post office, I get this message that I should not be alarmed and that the two boxes of diapers that were coming my way were indeed not diapers at all. Now, the only thing I know about this situation in front of me is that they are some sewing patterns. <laughs> she packed them as if a mother had packed them which means they're packed in there real tight. And that I believe this box right here has some type of clothing in it. So we shall see together now, shall we? So for giggles, let's go ahead and look at the labels and see exactly how many pounds of things I have been sent. Now this one right here is a flat rate, so it didn't actually have the weight on it. So I weighed this with my scale and this one, <sighs> is 10.3 pounds. This one right here is 14 pounds. Oof, my God. The biggin, the mama box is 46 pounds. Y'all, what did I get myself into here? And the one in front of me, 18 pounds, seven ounces. Cute, this should be fun. Okay. Let's get started. Grabbing our coffees. And our scissors. And do this thing. Did I get ya? I'm not actually gonna open a box like that. I'm not that kind of YouTuber. I see these people opening these boxes with just the carelessness of a four-year-old. Actually, no, that does disservice to four-year-olds. I'm going to open this a little nicer. Oh. <laughs> Y'all, what did I get myself into? Oh man, you mean they're not Legos? Dang it. So this is exactly what I'm looking at. Legos. All right, here we go. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> oh, oh my, okay. Um, all of these? are filled with patterns. Um, wowzer. All right then. I now understand exactly why she asked if I really wanted these sent to me. 
Let's get rolling. Eh. Okay. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, that's terrifying. Don't do that. And, um, for giggles. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do this with every bag, but I just want to do it with one. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yes, friends. Yep, that's a thing. 1986 Vogue um, head wrap situation. Wow, she wasn't kidding. So these are all over the place. So we've got an, an 80s, another 80s. This is much newer. This is 94. Anybody else have uh, their mother make them this dress or have a matching mother and daughter dress that look like this? Because I did. I did! Oh, and here's some rockin' 80s. Yes, side swag gather. So yeah, this just seems, I mean, this is going to be 48 pounds of pure patterns. This looks like, ooh, child. Yes, hair, amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so funny. These are all the patterns that like, my mother would have had or made for herself. Career woman Barbie, oh. Oh, no. Drop waist with the pleats. <laughs> Dear 1980s, you're not the 20s. Please stop. Oh yeah, so this is, she wasn't wrong. This is a lot of um, really fantastic 80s and 90s. We're just gonna kind of sort through these and then I'll come back to you. I think pulling the costumes aside, well, because it's August, October is coming, and we all hope we get to go trick-or-treating? Maybe? Hopefully. Oh, here we go. Here's some more vintage things. That's cute. This is going to be... Oh, this is an, an apron? All right, then. That's an apron. Very fun. It's called a butcher apron. It comes in three, si three sizes. Or three lengths. Yes, three links. That's what I was going for. Oh yeah, there you go. That's fun. Heck yeah. Hopefully it has the pants. I've had this trend recently where they just, they have the tops and no pants. Which I mean, if that's how you roll, more power to you. <laughs> Please God tell me it's family size. We can be M&Ms for Halloween. No, I can't. Oh my god. Oh, you can be the rappers. Oh my lord. Uh, dibs on the peanut m &Ms Hilarious. More true vintage. Excellent. Kind of like 80s, 90s is going that direction. Real vintage is coming over by me. And by real, I mean pre-1979. So just go with me on this journey. Now, to be fair, my friend never ever said that she was sending me 30s, 40s, 50s things. So I am not in any vague sense thinking that that's what I'm gonna find in here. I am very aware of what I got into. She did tell me the general eras that these were, but it's still funny to just go, I have no idea what I'm getting. This should be fun. Let's record it. So th this, uh, she says she's not expecting things from this era and then look, Let's see, a copyright date of 1950. This is a doll pattern that she sent me for a Sparkle Plenty or Baby Coos doll. Very cute. Nice little doll outfit. Hopefully it has the little elephant transfer. If not, it's okay, but it would be nice. Dang it, why is it a bus 31? Check out those pants. Oh, I love these. Crazy wide leg pants in this thing. <laughs> So in case you haven't noticed, there's been a minor calf tan situation going around the internet. I wonder if this might intrigue anyone. Make it tonight. It looks like a tablecloth that you cut a hole in. Crazy Vogue thing situation. Jumpsuit? Halter jumpsuit? Yeah, sure. Why not? Jacket dress and pant dress. With no sleeves. Which means I could not wear it. Oh, I've also seen this one before with the... Maxi dress, regular dress, and maxi coat and regular coat to go with it. Then we got crafts and crafts and uh, hmm, 
things that terrify me. Yeah. Okay, moving on. 90s hat? 90s hat. Yes. Because that situation is hilarious. It's like this little like floppy hat that I'm sure you could probably do either side. But that's just funny. 90s turbans and oversized berets and amazing. Oh, I don't know where I put that vocab pattern. <laughs> Organizing this is going to be fun. Ay, ay, ay. There's so many things. How do I do this? I was not prepared for this, y'all. Okay, we'll just acknowledge that that I was not prepared for this. I should have boxes that should have craft and 80s and 90s, or 80s, 90s. Do I? No, no, I don't. So we're gonna take a brief pause so that I can return with a better organizational system so I don't completely screw myself up in the long run. Okay, so now we have a little bit better of a plan. 90s, 80s, uh, crafty Halloween situation. Real vintage. Now we're gonna keep on going, even though it's decided to rain in Florida, so I probably just got really dark, so I'm gonna have to color correct the crap out of this. Oh, goodness, y'all. So many things are happening right now. Okay, just focus. 93. You're on box one. This is going well. Design your own jumpsuit. Cute. That's gotta be 90s. Yeah, 95. 2003. Cute. I did not make a box for the 2000s. Excellent. Yes. Wonder Woman. Jumping beans. Not the kind that go in the pot. That is a terrible, not even joke. Great. Crafts and aprons. And some more aprons. And some more aprons. And some more aprons. I found the apron stash. Oh my god, I love this one. I don't care about you. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is adorable. This is McCall's 2062. It's matching aprons for every member of the family, along with hopefully the embroideries to go along with it. So for the wife, it's chief cook. For the husband, it's master chef. For the son, it's chef's helper. For the daughter, it's cook's helper. And of course, old Fido there gets the taster apron. Oh, I'm completely geeking out over this. This is adorable. I really distinctly hope that these are all there because that's amazing. See, I don't really play in the 80s and 90s realm, so I'm gonna have to look up all these people because I don't know who they are. But we have the technology to learn. You can't read upside down, Stephanie. That's why you're having issues. Umbrella skirt? No, just a crap load of gores. All right, cute. Weighs 24. Suck it in, Buttercup. We're gonna stop one more time to go put these away. All right. Oh darn it. Crafts. Yeah. Don't worry. It was from the 2000s. It's fine. All right. Tiny bags. And hopefully do a couple of these before I have to get up and reorganize some things. Also, this is what happens when you go swimming in the morning and then blow dry your hair, which I haven't done in... I have no idea the last time I blew dry my hair. <laughs> oh, yes. Street sharks! <laughs> oh. 
Oh, the 90s were a special time. Oh, Lone, that's supposed to be Lone Ranger. Okay, sure. We'll go with that. Lone Ranger? I don't see it. Real vintage. Real vintage with like the Jan hairstyle. Marsha? Jan. Don't remember. One of the Brady's hairstyles. Let me know down in the comments which one it was because I don't remember. Ooh, second bag. Second tiny bag. Ooh, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, yeah, sure. Split in half. Why not? That's better. Cute. So this little Halloween costume came with a personalized post-it note. That's, that's precious. Not to me, to the person before, or maybe the person before that, I don't know. It's cute either way. The little puff sleeves on that, how cute. Oh yeah, as a reminder, in case you come across patterns that don't have envelopes and you don't want to keep them or you don't know what to do with them, please send them to my friend at Vintage Sewing Pattern Catalog Galleria. I will link her information down below, because that is more than likely where these puppies are headed. She puts them all back together again. She also takes missing pattern pieces as well. <laughs> oh, cute with the little ruffly sleeves. That's adorable. Oh my God. I could be Garfield for Chris Christmas, for Halloween, y'all. I loved Garfield growing up. Literally, favorite cartoon. That was my jam. Anything Garfield, my sheets were Garfield, my comforter was Garfield, I was a Garfield. Garfield and Scooby-Doo, those were my two. Yes, I was born in the 80s, but Garfield and Scooby-Doo, those are my two. Ooh, Patterns Pacifica, always a good one. So normally I would look for these. Wait, is this just a crap load of them? Or is this all one pattern? I'm so confused as to what's happening right now. No, this is all one pattern. So this is how you bought this one pattern. Pattern Specifica is a Hawaiian based pattern company. And I normally look for them, especially the vintage ones when they are more than just your standard moo moo. <laughs> Cause you can find those all the time. But like the pake moos and all the other types of garments that they make their patterns for are normally quite sought after. Now you're not talking like a $300 pattern. No, you're, you're still talking like 25 and up, like 25 to, well, it depends. The more intricate ones can go for a lot higher, but this one is interesting because it's almost like a normal A-line dress. So I'm gonna have to research and see how readily available this is so that I can determine what I'm gonna charge for it. Cause I don't know, cause I've never seen this one before, but that's interesting. So there's something very special about Cinderella based patterns that are minorly terrifying to me. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the faces, the stylization, the, they're just creepy and um, a little unsettling. Okay, great. Love that. Not unnerved at all. Well, 48 pound box. Done. Now for the other three. Moving on to box two. Do, 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 do. Let's see what's in this one. Doot. She wasn't kidding when she said she packed these really well. Wow. Must be careful when opening patterns. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's stuck. Yes, I made sure there wasn't any paper in there. Don't come at me. All right, and <laughs> more patterns. Okay. I mean, she did tell me she was sending me patterns and patterns. I got, I got some patterns. I got. Oh my God. Ah! Oh, it's taped to the bottom. So I guess I have to do this. Oh yeah, this is gonna go well. This is this is gonna go something. Probably not well. Not going well. Not going well. Oh god. <laughs> oh, oh mercy. Okay, great. There, there, there we go. Yeah, and then vanish. 
Hey oh Well, that was um unintentional. Woo. Got it. Okay, yeah, this might have been. Uh, maybe I should have done one bag at a time. <laughs> but that would be. <laughs> oh yeah, I should have um not done this all at once. Okay, great. Well, well, now we live with the choices we make. All right. Oh, oh, vintage patterns. Yay, the things I actually think. <laughs> all right, very cute duster slash belted dress situation. Oh, that's adorable. Little vest and skirt combo. Really high-waisted pants with suspenders. Play suit. Love it. It's always exciting when you get patterns because you, you never know when you're going to get randomly stabbed by a straight pen. <laughs> Life lessons. What size are you? Please don't be a bus 31. Dang it. Bus 31 and a half. <laughs> Craft. Crafty patterns make me laugh. Okay. Crafts. 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 All of the crafts. 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 Ooh! A Ken pattern, Barbie's boyfriend. Can you tell I don't actually want to deal with the ones in front of me? I'm just dealing with the ones that I like. <laughs> yeah, that's happening right now. I feel like she tried to give me sections and I just destroyed it by opening it like this. But here we are. So this is where we stand after the second box. 1980s is um, getting there. 1990s is on its way. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, the costumes are overflowing. The crafts are overflowing. The first box of vintage is overflowing. Are you sensing a theme here? And the second box of vintage is well on its way. And I still have two more. Okay, so we basically know what's in the last diaper box. So I'm gonna save that one, because in case the audio runs out of space or the camera runs out of space. I wanna know. What's in this one? Because this was the additional box that I wasn't actually planning on, but this is the one that I think has the clothes, so this is the one I'm gonna dive into very carefully. I'm not gonna super concern myself with these right meow. Although there is a pictorial review from the 30s that's a, uh, transfer it's very pretty i mean it's just the alphabet but i think it's i like things like that apparently i'm the only one because no one buys them but whatever well, i thought she said one of these had clothes in them i thought it was this one. Oh, large scale vogue and feather boning vintage feather boning okay is that still good at this point i don't honestly know i've never found it feather boning that's vintage before. And these, I love large scale Vogues. Oh man, so good. So you have a Vogue basic design cape. <gasps> you have a 1942 Butterick Fashion News pamphlet from January of 42. And this won't have any of the patterns in it, but it will show you what you could have purchased. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night, as we went into war. <gasps> yes, turban! Oh, that's so pretty.
It's not in great shape. It's definitely got the acidified acidic factor to it, but don't care. It's pretty. Got a style, we got a little Vogue. Okay, here's the rest of the large scales. A Ralph Lauren large scale American designer, very preppy. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, oh, that's a, that's new. Size 12 and size 10. That's fun. I like getting size rounds of things. Choices. Okay. Belleville Sassoon with some um, ruching situation all through the bodice there. Um, it's interesting. Not my silhouette, but maybe someone's and that's okay. All right, but this is not why I was supposed to be going into this bin. Dang it, distracted. Maybe I hallucinated when she said a dress. Maybe she meant more dress patterns, which is totally fine. I just thought she told me at one point there was clothing. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it's just all patterns. Also, just so y'all know, I will be listing these for sale on my website. I do distinctly thank my friend so much for sending them to me. And my goal with putting all these on my website is so I can pay her back in full for the ridiculous shipping from California to Florida for uh, X number of pounds. I haven't done the math. I should do the math as to how many pounds of things she sent me. That is my goal. So keep an eye out. These will be coming up on my website, www.backroomfinds.com so that you can take them home. I will start with the uncut factory folded because those are by far the easiest. Oh no, wait, there is clothing in here. Ha, all right. I wasn't crazy. She did tell me she was sending me clothing. Okay. And my favorite, chucking the boxes across the room. Okay, so what do we have here? We have something with a tiny tag. Lot 70, size 14. Are you crispy or just needing washed? No, you just need washed, okay. Oh, oh. Well then, isn't that fun? 1970s version of a patio dress. It's definitely got some um, smells to it, but it's cute. Size 14 isn't terrible. And now the thing I hate to do, but I must do. Oh, stretchy elastic. Good, okay, great. So that is ideal because if the elastic is done, then well, unfortunately it hurts the value of the dress quite severely, but this is really cute. So I'm gonna give her a clean up and we'll see how she does, but this is adorable. One dress, let's see what the other one is. I know there's patterns in front of me, but I got distracted. All right, like a silk brocade, satin, bro satin brocade. Yeah, like a heavy satin brocade. Homemade. Cause that looks almost like my level of stitching. <laughs> Doesn't look terrible. Oh, side zip, cute. I'm thinking 60s for this one with the super fitted waist. There's, oh, I don't know. Well, it could be early 60s. Cause it's got some fullness in this satin. The zip needs to be retacked cause it's, it's uh, poking out here. Pokety poke poke. It's actually in really great shape. Although uh, like I can tell right now, the waist is minuscule. Oh, so tiny. I'm gonna see if this can be made bigger or not. I don't think it can, no. No, they did a good job. So I'd say there's about a half inch of seam allowance in here, which isn't quite enough to merit undoing the entire thing, redoing the entire thing. So I think I'm just gonna have to try and find her a home as is. Wait, maybe she was taken in. Holy crap, yeah, hang on. Cause this dart in inside here is quite large. Like obscenely large. Like a two and a half, two inch dart. Yeah, and this back dart has seriously been taken in. Problem is you have to undo literally everything to do this. And I don't know if I wanna. But basically this is in too nice a form for me to think I'm gonna take it apart. But I will try and give her clean and see what I can do to fix that zipper pull. Even though that waist is like the size of my thigh. All right, so now we got some more patterns. So, oh my All right, so this is what I was talking about, the pictorial review, possibly early 40s, late 30s, transfer just for lettering. 
I enjoy things like this. I know a lot of folks don't do that anymore, but I enjoy it. I don't always do it, but I enjoy it. Boy shirt, sure. ooh, more Pacifica patterns. That's cute. So you can make any one size, what? Oh, it contains eight through 18. That's what it's trying to tell me. <laughs> but either way, really cute. Probably a 70s pattern Pacifica, but very sweet. Oh, there you go. It's a Betsy McCall. When in doubt, make the envelope pink and that'll mean more, pe more people will buy it. I, I don't know. Then 90s bird jacket for men and a equally as 90s slash 80s uh, suit jacket. Like that patio dress style, almost like the one from 70s. They're cute. Found like I did any of this. Thank you. Thank you very much, friend, for sending me this because I found none of it. And now we just probably, I think, just have some more sorting to do. So I'm going to do that now. <laughs> This is the one my friend said, oh, oh dear, somebody nommed on that one. Yike. Do y'all like 80s and 90s patterns? Let me know in the comments, give me a like. I don't normally sell them, but I've been told that some people actually like them. So is that you? Do you like 80s and 90s patterns? Would you like me to put all of these 80s and 90s patterns and all the other 80s and 90s patterns I have in my house on my website? Let me know. And here we are. The final box. I don't know what I was thinking. All right. Yeah. I'm thinking I want to chuck this box. That's what I'm thinking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy there, killer. Boom, baby. I learned my lesson, can you tell? One bag at a time. One. So starting off with some stretch and shows. Stretch and shows. Stretch and sews. So this is an al men's alpaca cardigan. A ladies raglan sleeve cardigan. Ooh, uh, of the 90s. Oh, interesting. Gina Bori sleeveless jacket. You're just gonna hear my kid. That's just where we're at right now. Oh, got some more stretch and sews. So we have a ladies shawl. We have a ladies knit top with the cat sleeve. <sighs> Y'all. I just can't. Eaton Ensemble. Interesting. This looks like it would have been part of a like a pattern catalog where you got the patterns and then you put them in your little binder so you could keep them all together. Sewing step by step is my guess. And by my guess, I mean I read it on the bottom, so that's probably who it's by. Oh cute, more Pattern Pacifica. This looks more like the long moo. Yeah, this is just like a standard moo, but it's got the higher collar, the mandarin collar. It's pretty cute. Size 12, which thankfully isn't too tiny, as she says as she tries to find the bust measurement. 34, so not tiny, but not fabulous. Nursing gowns, probably from the 90s. MMV, 95? Yeah, I think that's right. Ned! MMV is 1995, right? MMV is 2005. Just kidding, 2005. There's a reason I'm not a math channel, friends. All right, oh, the very little Vogues. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, just precious. All the ruffles, all the frills, size four, so my daughter won't fit it, but really cute. Yeah, some Dr. Karen happening. Got some ooh, 1990 Vogue happening. Got DKNY sets. Great fit patterns. Pull on pants. Oh, cute. So Sunrise Designs Toddler Sleepwear. That's precious. Oh. <laughs> Vogue American Designer. The exact jeans. Fit of Calvin Klein. I'm not going to test that out. Don't ask me to. We've got an individualist pattern from Vogue by Tamotsu? To to Tamotsu? I'm sure I'm butchering this. Y'all, yep. yep. last bag. Of course I'm gonna do it this way. Why would I do it any other way? You knew this was coming. I knew this was coming. Mm. Lots more crafts. Er, 
costumes. And crafts. I saw the crafts held in the costumes. It all just went to shit. Oh, cute. Does it come with the Barbie pattern too? Sure does. So you and your, you and your Barbie could match with this McCall. Zzz, McCall's. Whoa. All right. Um, gaucho pants? What are they? Yeah. Look at me know things on occasion. Every once in a while, guys. Every once in a while. Oh, more hats. Gotta love those 90s hats. Hats. More crafts. More costumes. Some more crafts. This is another uh, pattern Pacifica. Apparently it's used and cut. And they wanted $2 for it. Uh, so this is the Baby Doll Moo Moo, as it says on the back. Baby Doll Moo? Yes. Baby Doll Moo. Because Moo Moo's clearly are only for adults. Moo is singular for children. I have no idea. I'm just making this up. Yeah, more crafts. More costumes, more crafts. I, in case you're noticing a theme here, uh, we got some more costumes. Got some more '90s. Yeah, lots of, lots of '90s, lots of '80s. Oh, you know, as I'm going through this, I realize I have not been counting. All right, friends. Here's what we're gonna do. We know that I got 79 pounds and 10 ounces worth of patterns. So here's my challenge to you. I want y'all to guess how many patterns you think I got. We're not counting the needlebooks or the pamphlets or the two dresses at, in the total count of items. So I only want you to guess how many patterns you think arrived in 79 pounds and 10 ounces. Whoever gets the closest will get to choose one free pattern valued under $40 on my website, which is most of them. Now folks, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel so that you can win, because to win this prize, you must be subscribed and comment down below with how many patterns you think I have. On Tuesday, August 18th, I will be announcing the winner, which means that entries will be closed on Monday, August 17th at midnight. I will be drawing a name after that so I can pop it in to my Tuesday, August 18th video. All right, let's clean up this table. After all is said and done, those have no envelope. That is for babies. These are all 2000s, which I didn't grab a box for. These are all my oversize. Two dresses. 1990s. 1980s. Costumes. Here, let's go this way. Costumes. Crafts. Yes, there is a tub under there. Also full. Box overflowing. With vintage patterns. And second box. Almost overflowing of vintage patterns. And that is what you get in 79 pounds and 10 ounces of patterns. All right, well, that was fun. That is how you deal with 79 pounds and 10 ounces of sewing patterns. If you enjoyed this video and everything I dug through today, please make sure you click that like button being sure to subscribe so you can see future hauls and vintage and all of the types of fun things. And turn on the bell for post notifications so that YouTube can tell you when I post a new video. I want to thank y'all so much for watching, and we'll see y'all next time. So in case you haven't guessed, in today's video, we're gonna unbox some crap. This one right here. Oh, where did I put it? There it is. Oh my god. <sighs> also, I apologize. You're going to see my mic the entire time. Just go with it. It's too echoey down here, and it drives me nuts when I'm editing. Y'all. Well, I guess the microphone's going to move now, so we're just going to move you over there. I'm going to need a box just for costumes. My goodness. What yep. is this? It's a new look. It's from the 90s.
What about it? I saw new and I thought New York. No. Very much not a New York pattern, dear. Well, that's what happens when your battery shuts off. I'm gonna sneeze again. Boop. I've been not looking at the microphone. I'm sure the audio will be great on this.